a very good afternoon to one and all who are present here i am dr manoj kumara nv associate professor department of management sciences maharaja institute of technology mysore from india so today i am going to be highlighting on market capitalization and a pre post covid analysis so this study which is mainly prevailing about how the impact of covid 19 on indian stock market and share performance so let shall we go with one by one so as per the my publication the paper which is published in materials today proceedings it's a elsewhere listed publication and after this paper i got received almost more than 12 citations citations and this paper is more relevant to the present contrast and here we can see the abstract where the research mainly focus on the impact of covid-19 on indian stock market and share performances and it's also observed the correlation between the performances of shares and growth of market share and this study also comparing the data between jan 20 to june 20 june 2020 and also the study reports that uh, the results are more positive and statistically strongly significant with respect to the changes in the market performance and its market capitalization let's play have a look into the introductory part of the paper where you can see that uh, we can say uh, every ever since covid 19 strikes a market loom under fear as uncertainty prevails and the global market which had a crash in the year 2008 and more than that it is witnessed in the effect of covid 19 and following the stre- strong correlation with the trends and indices of the global market as bse sensex and nifty 50 fell by 38% and the even the total market capitalization lost staggering by 27.31 from the start of the 2021 so therefore whenever we speaks about the stock market it has reflected and uh, the sentiments of this pandemic unleashed upon investors foreign and uh, domestic alike companies have slack scaled back layoff have multiplied and employee compensation have been affected resulting in negligible growth in the last couple of months so certain sectors such as hospitality tourism and entertainment has been impacted adversely and stock of such companies have plummeted by more than 40% so this, this is what the reality which happened in the particular market and you can see the particular graph which is representing the number of corona virus cases worldwide as of november 30 2021 as per the country wise so when we take the world consideration where it is reported 262 crores Twenty-six crores and twenty-four lakhs, fifty-seven thousand nine ten cases. So as the first stand for with USA, and then it will be followed by India, and then Brazil, then UK, Russia, likewise. And even though you can see this index where here the shareholders return where it significantly within. each industry so you can see the changes of healthcare services where it is reported the returns are have a volatility between 50% to 
more than 150%. So this is to be noticed. The healthcare industry is a very prominent and a very important industry to focus towards the improvement in the returns with respect to the impact of COVID-19. So we can see that in this particular chart. And also you can uh, look into the share of gross market, uh, gross domestic par product lost as a result of coronavirus pandemic in 2020 by economy. So when we look into the low incoming developing countries where they lost by 4.8% GDP and advanced economies like uh, uh, developed and developing scale of uh, countries such as uh, like India and uh, such as uh, uh, um, BRIC countries and all. So they lost by 6.5%. Emerging markets uh, such as uh, decreased by 7 and Latin America, they are stuck up with 85 And overall worldwide, when we take a consideration, it has come down to 6.7% of share of GDP due to the last as a result of coronavirus pandemic. And when we look into the background of the study, uh, my study is mainly focused on market capitalization. So market capitalization is most important when the companies are go for integration process. So in the integration process, the company must need to be concentrated on market capitalization. So when the capitalization is high, the companies are going to be bid at the high prices. So when we look into the uh, the importance of uh, market capitalization is when we look into the large capital, mid capital, and small capital. Uh, the large capital, which is developed, the market value more than ten billion dollars and more. Mid cap, when it is in the range of two billion to ten billion crores, and small cap, when it is the market value is less than two crores such emerging industries which are falling under the particular category. So as per the result of my study, it is clearly stated where, where it is clearly stated about the major findings that the positive impact which is made with respect to the few industries and also it is been a recovery in the current times for the particular industry where they must need to be revive the economy and boost their businesses a smart recovery plan is essential so the country must need to focus on attracting foreign investments and must reduce importing importing products and we must need to encourage the products which is uh, manufactured by domestic countries and support the local producer as recently the one of the global company infosys they are reported the attrition level which is increased to 34 percent due to the pandemic condition so this is the one of the most important issue where we must need to be concentrated that how these covid which is had an impact on such industries and even here we can see that how the NASDAQ market, which is a US based. So where uh, the technology sector, which is uh, recovered more quickly than uh, other sectors. And even the NASDAQ uh, market, which is a home market and uh, it is the fastest growing companies in uh, 2020. Uh, such as Amazon and PayPal. So because we given more importance towards go for digitalization. So therefore, uh, these are all the major effects which we can see in the COVID pandemic situation. Even we can notice here how the benchmarks are dropped down and uh, even the economic impact of the go global spread of COVID-19, which is heightened the market risk aversion in the way is not seen since the global financial crisis, which already said that it is the massive hit to the global market uh, compared to whatever which has happened in the global crisis 2008.
and stock market have declined over 30% implied volatility is a high high increase and a high decrease the volatility in high power in the market of equities and oil have a spiked to crisis level and the credit spreads on non investment grade debt have witnessed sharply as investor reduce risk the heightened turmoil of global financial market is occurring despite the substantial and comprehensive financial reforms agreed by G20 financial authorities of the post crisis era so this is the data which is announced by oecd calculation so you can see all the charts where it is reporting the declining in the returns as well as the equity market prices so finally i want to conclude that until a medical vaccine and other medical solution is to be found for the covid-19 it's already found but the vaccination process must need to be smoother and quickly need to be reach each and every public till that the awareness when until the people they aware about the coronavirus this is not the right kind or right move for the countries towards having the better stake towards move for better growth and better economy and it would be hypothetical to the to expect a quick economic rebound from the current effect of the pandemic once the pandemic is over normally normalcy will surely return to the business and economy the stock market will start moving in a positive direction and witnessed in the past recovery would be faster than expected so this is what uh, my presentation about my paper which is published in the or uh, scopus journal also if the any further research if you want to focus on then the researcher must need to be concentrate on the not only the market capitalization even they are take the consideration of individual company stock prices so in that if they are come out with whether there is a significant change with respect to the p values if the if they found any change or in our impact on the share prices that will be beneficial to the country to get to know how the stock movements are and how the demand which is increases to the domestic uh, companies there they can easily focus and they come out with the better strategy because nowadays we can see that the companies are followed towards st- turn around strategies and uh, whatever the benchmark they are setting it's completely working towards enhancing the revenue to the global economy so therefore with connecting to that uh, i'm just want to conclude that the market capitalization which is most important phenomenon factor for each and every enterprise towards aware about how the movements stock movements and how it is important towards knowing whatever the uh, pandemic or epidemic which is happened how it is going to be have a reaction that is known by uh, by this study thank you all for your presentation if you have any question uh, you can ask me